Hey everyone, welcome back to my family room and a rack full of this time very random clothing. I do want to point out there will be a change shortly. We have hired a painter and we are in the process of turning one of the boys' old bedrooms into a filming studio. White walls, no distracting background. I have just a bunch of absolutely random stuff to share with you. And I thought it'd be fun to put it together into some outfits. Some of these pieces I picked, some were sent via PR, and I'm very grateful for that, but it gives me an opportunity to walk you through the thought process of how I put outfits together. I had a lot of fun doing this fairly recently. If you missed my last try on, I'll link it somewhere above, definitely below. And remember, open up that description box and you will see all the links and descriptions, sizing, pricing, all that good stuff. All right, enough of the background, let's get into it. This is the outfit I have been wearing all day. It started as a work from home day in front of the computer. More days than not, I'm just in a sort of loose tee and some loungewear. So if the doorbell rings, which it did several times this morning, I can answer the door and not be embarrassed. We're gonna start with what something that actually got delivered yesterday, and that is this free assembly, sort of thermal, Henley ribbed top. What am I gonna do with this? Let's figure that out. So let me get a little closer. My head's gonna get chopped off for a second, that's okay. I just want you to see the texture on this top. It's a very fine rib, so to speak. I'm wearing it in a small. Free assembly usually runs pretty big on me. Most of the stuff I've gotten from them, I've had to send back for an extra small. This is very fitted and it's kind of cropped. I mean, it's not coming untucked, but I think it's meant to be fitted to be worn under something, which is what I'm about to show you. But I personally would like this a little looser. If you're not as chesty as I am, you could probably go with your true size. If you want it less fitted, I would say size up. It's not uncomfortable. I'm just so used to wearing looser fitting clothing. I think that's part of the problem. So I paired it with a pair of jeans I already had in my closet, a little bit of a darker wash. I love a gray with a dark wash. I feel like gray could be treated like black. So just all the dark moody colors. And just to extend it, I did put on these black square toed booties. I prefer brown and gray. Let me show you where I'm going with this and let me show you these shoes up close. These are from Walmart. They have the squared off toe. A lot of you have mentioned in recent videos that you don't like a pointed toe. Here is another option. This very squared off heel is also really comfortable to walk around in, gives you a lot of support. There's no teetering here. So I put the black shoe on because, because I also picked up this beautiful blazer that also comes in a lovely baby pink. It feels like velvet and it's also from the free assembly line at Walmart. And I just thought if I'm wearing a black blazer, I should pair the shoes to match. So here we go. I would say this is not an oversized blazer. It's not skin tight, but it's not that baggy boyfriend look. This is a more traditional fit, but it's a little bit longer. Hard to see the black on camera, I know, but it has really nice big open pockets on the sides. I love this. I probably would pop my collar out. I haven't worn this out of the house yet because honestly, as I'm filming this, it's still in the 80s. And so I think this is a really nice slimming look. I would probably add a thinner black belt if I had one. Definitely need to do some belt shopping. And I don't hate this. I like it. I would probably scrunch up the sleeves a little bit. But here's what I'm thinking. Let's try this. Do we think this would look better with the brown boots just to kind of warm it up? I don't know. Let's try it. Here we go. So here we have the brown shoe. I like this. I think it gives it a less edgy, not that it's edgy, but it's a little more warmth. It's a little more organic. It feels a little more approachable. A belt, like a brown belt even, would kind of tie it all in. I like brown and black together. I think it makes it a much more casual, approachable look. But you tell me, you saw it in the black. Now we have it in the brown. Vote in the comments. Excited to hear your point of view. The piece that I shared with you in my what's wrong with my outfit video was this blazer from The Drop and it still has the tag on it because I'm still on the fence. We're gonna figure out together, do I keep it in the size medium? Do I send it back for the size small? We'll see. Also have the matching pants. So a few of you asked, 
how do you style this for fall winter? Cause this is bright pink, not a color that comes to mind when we're talking about this time of year. And I came up with an idea. Let's see if it works. All right, let me walk you through what I was thinking. And before you ask, what are you thinking? <laughs> so these are the pants and they fit really well. Let me give you a couple of pointers about them. So these are a size small. They just come small, medium, large, maybe extra small, extra large, but they do have a traditional zipper and then the button and then the little slidey hook thing in the front. But here's the best part. In the back, they have a little bit of elastic right here, which for those of us that have the, let's just call it what it is. It's a curvier body. It's an hourglass figure. I'm bigger up here. I am admittedly a little thicker than I used to be here, but you know what I mean? And bigger here, I can get the right size for this part of me and it still fits my waist. So I'm really excited about that. So I would definitely go with your true size. Nice pockets here. I like the length, even with heels. This does come in other colors if the bright pink bothers you, but I thought I would make it a little less sweet and candy-like by pairing it with black. So this is just a basic black tank, nothing special, it's part of the Amazon Essentials line, and then basic black pumps. And then I thought I liked the idea of the oversized blazer because that made it a little edgier. I know I just contradicted myself and didn't want edgy in the last one, but in this case, I, I like it. And it was funny because the comments went both ways the last time I asked you. So now that it's all paired together, what do you think? I really like this. I like the oversized look. This is cool. I'm happy with, I'm more than happy with this. I'm thrilled when something comes together. I had it in my brain. Uh, I do want to pop in a photo of what it looked like on the Amazon website. How does it compare? I'm happy. I may end up buying a few more of these suits in different colors. Maybe something a little more traditional. I've been getting some questions on what to wear to holiday parties. This came from Spanx. This is actually two pieces. So they sent me this jumpsuit, straight leg, almost like a wide flare there at the bottom. We'll see it better once it's on. And then they also sent me a blazer to go with it. And I thought this would be a great holiday look, especially if it's more work. So you might not want a fun sparkly something that might be a little too whimsical for a more corporate holiday event. So let's put these pieces on and see how they work out. I haven't tried them on yet. So this will be a first impressions with definitely a departure from the norm. This is a jumpsuit from Spanx. I'm wearing it in the size small petite. And even with four inch heels, it's a good length. So at five foot four def or smaller, definitely go with a petite. Size small works just fine. These are not real pockets and I keep wanting to do this. <laughs> I don't know where to put my hands. Okay, so here are my thoughts on this. You cannot wear this if you do not have someone living with you because even though it, the zipper does have like a long pull tab right here, I could not contort myself to fully get it all the way zipped up. If you're more flexible than me, maybe you can. So that's just something you should be aware of. Unlike other Spanx clothing, you do not have to lay down to get into it. I just stepped right in and pulled it up. So that's nice. Kind of hard to tell because I'm in black, but it is flattening. Wow, it is flattening this. So I'm impressed with that. The V-neck is not too low. I am wearing not like a normal bra, but an actual more like bra, like slip over your head one a little more matronly, so I was thinking I would have to switch bras, but no, everything is covered, armholes, all the things, that's good. Nice wide strap, so I don't have to worry about a bra showing. I do feel like I'm in a 70s disco movie with this, <laughs> but it's very holiday appropriate. I did pair it with my sparkly slingback pumps from Walmart, so this could be a holiday party look. And it does allow for some eating because the Spanx will keep everything in. If you want this to look a little more corporate or you're just feeling really exposed in a giant one piece like this, let's throw on the blazer. It has nice little slits here for a little more movement. Whew, hard to do in the 80s. Okay, this fits great, size small. This does have, I believe these are real pockets. Yes, these are real pockets. So I would have somewhere to put my hands. I don't want to rip it apart, but you can take the loose stitching out and these are real pockets on both sides. So that's nice. The sleeves are a little long on me. I would definitely get these taken in, but I don't mind rolling them up. I like that look and it looks like that slit may have been designed 
to make it more easy to roll up. I don't know, I'm guessing here. I think if you swap the shoes out for just basic black pumps and you don't have dog hair on you, you could wear this to a variety of events. A more corporate dinner out, a more formal, not formal as in like ball gown formal, but a more conservative holiday party. This is a nice look. All right, it's also quite warm. <laughs> So there is that for those of you who need a little extra layer for warmth. This has you covered. All right, let's get into something a little less formal and still comfortable, but not quite as formal. Now, this piece comes from a collab that I'm doing with Target over on Instagram and fairly certain it's not on Instagram yet. So if you're not following me on Instagram, you can go ahead and fix that. Click the link above. I'll, I'll also link my Instagram account in the description box. So the actual hero pieces of the collaboration are all about their outerwear collection, and I don't have those yet. Those are being shipped. But I did put together a little outfit to wear under the outerwear, and it all revolved around this top. This is a extremely fine gauge corduroy. It comes in a variety of colors. It has the hidden placket here, so it does unbutton more. It's more like a poet style. You can wear this a lot of ways. I'm going to show you one extremely basic, not very difficult way to wear it. This next outfit is mostly from Target, which is a departure for me. And I want to make something clear. I should have made it clear at the beginning of the video. I'm sharing these pieces with you as they're coming into my closet. And yes, of course, I'm going to include the links if you're interested in purchasing them. But this is not meant as a video to say, here's new stuff, buy it. It's, hey, do you have something in your closet that looks like this? Do you have a shirt that's cut like this? Or jeans that are cut like this? Or maybe a solid color suit that you don't know how to, what to do with? Let these also just be jumping off points for you to explore what you already have in your closet. Let this be some sort of inspiration or cautionary tale. I guess it depends how you look at it. But let's talk about this. I didn't even steam it. I love this. This is a size small. It definitely runs a little big. The arms admittedly are a little long, but you just do this and now they're fine. They do have functioning buttons on the cuffs. So you could also unbutton it and then roll them up, which is something I do all the time. I love the length, the weight, the feel of this. I want all the colors now. I know this comes in a cream and I think two other colors. I'm loving this. I love the cut of it. See how it kind of scoops up on the side and then goes back down again. But I think this would also work really well. Let's just pretend I did a front tuck or tucked it all the way in. I'm not against tucking something all the way in. This would look great with a belt. Like I've mentioned, I think a belt is the one accessory I am lacking that I need to fix. So we, we will discuss that in future videos. And then these are new. These are, I'm really getting into the boot cut thing, can you tell? And I'm just gonna say it here on the record. I know that I've been talking about the straight leg jean trend and wearing them cropped and all the things. And I think they look amazing on so many other people, but I still struggle when I look in the mirror at how I look in straight leg cropped. So. I'm embracing this, this bootleg full length instead. We shall see. But anyway, um, these are from the brand Knox Rose. I have not purchased any, I don't think I purchased anything from Knox Rose before. I have them in a size six. They're snug. Like in some brands I can wear a four. The six, I mean, I don't have to lay down or anything to get them buttoned, but they fit actually pretty well for curvy. They have this black elastic all around the top that kind of makes it hug your curves. I don't have any um, muffin top happening though. So it's not that they're too tight because you know when they're too tight and everything just sort of spills over. That's not happening and it is sucking everything in. I would say there's a lot of compression happening in these jeans which I'm not mad about. And then this does come in other washes. There's the tiniest bit of distressing here but then it has the pocket behind it so there's no actual hole into your clothing area so you don't see any skin. Does this make my butt look big? I don't know. I'm sure someone will be happy to tell me if they do. I like these. And then I pair them with these. I'll just take it off. These are actually mules. They're not full booties, but they work really well under boot cut jeans and it sort of cheats it so you think you're getting a whole boot in there because that's all you see is just the tip. But if it's still a little warm where you are, you're not going to overheat in full boots. Let's get to the next outfit. Now this came in PR. Isn't this luscious? This color is so beautiful. This beautiful deep wine color 
velvet blazer. It's from Avara, and I do have a discount code for Avara. It's gold15 for 15% off. I'll put that in the description box as well. And it's part of their holiday collection, obviously, the velvet in this beautiful color. And you can absolutely style this over a dress and make something just that much more extra. But I'm thinking that especially in the more milder climates like Texas and much of the South and Florida, this can be worn in lieu of a jacket and you can make any outfit, even the most casual jeans and t-shirt outfit, a little more put together looking by throwing this on. So let's test that theory. These are not the same pair of jeans. I want to talk about these jeans before we move on to the standout, which is that burgundy wine, whatever color, velvet blazer I'm going to throw on in a second. So these jeans were recommended to me by one of you. She reached out and recommended these wallflower jeans. They're on Amazon, so they are very affordable. They are junior sizing, and I am not a junior size, but Based on the recommendations, I went with a size five. These are really cool. They have lots of different washes. These to me feel a little more like country style with the wash here and the stitching and then for sure the pockets. Like I would wear these to, well, I would wear these anywhere, but I would especially wear these to like a country concert or something like that. And I love, they're very stretchy. They're very soft. They're very affordable double buttons up here and then a zipper fly. I don't know if this shirt is still available. It's just like a Henley tee. I got it at Walmart not that long ago. Paired it with some burgundy shoes because I still have the tags on most of the stuff because I literally just got it in and I'm too excited to even prep the clothes. I just want to try them on for you guys. Ooh, I love this. I really love this. Oh, this is so pretty. I'm always going for black for holidays, but ooh. This is so fun. Do these pockets, it does, does it have pockets? I think these are just, nope, these are real pockets. If you wanted to st stick something in the pockets, you can. I love this color. So just something to think about. A blazer, especially a looser fitter blazer, looser fitting blazer, could double as just a jacket that you throw over a t-shirt, whether it's you know a traditional blazer material in a non-traditional color, or, oh, hello, Rowdy, something <laughs> a little more chic like velvet. Ah, uh, you know, my channel is about real style, real outfits for real women. This is real life. I'm filming in my real house, in my real family room with my real dogs that will walk through the shot. Uh, I don't have any kids at home, otherwise somebody would probably be running through that frame too. All right, let's get to the last outfit. And then I'll admit, I'm cheating on this one. I've already styled and worn this blouse several times, shared one of those pictures over on Instagram but I am so in love with this color combination that I thought it needed to be shared over here as well. This feels like a thick, luscious silk, but it's not, and that price point reflects it, but it's not a thick, heavy fabric. It's really loose and drapey. This color combination though, the rich brown and then the slate blue and the beige, it's really unique. It's a beautiful fall combination, but not one that I have really seen before. And I paired it with a pair of pants that I love so much. I've had in my closet since I think May when I did my Banana Republic haul. Put it in the back of my closet and completely forgot about them. So just pulled them out for the first time in November. And I want to show you how it fits. I want to talk you through it because it's a very popular pant style at Banana Republic. It frequently goes on sale. And the next time it does, I'm picking up another pair. They're that good. All right, last one, best one. I don't know, I liked all of those outfits, but this for me is a standout. Obviously, this is not for every day in my life. This is a little dressier, but it's good to have those dressier options. And this is, like I said, a little pricier. This is from Banana Republic. This could easily be worn with jeans and made more casual, but these pants, oh my goodness, I love them. So let me tell you about the sizing in case you are interested. This is where I'm saying the sizing. You gotta look at the measurements that they give you in the size guide, because that really helps. These are a size four, regular, not petite, still room, I have the belt on, it comes with this belt. You could tie the belt instead of looping the belt. You could take the belt off, add your own belt. This is a true cargo pant, but it's streamlined. But it has the normal pockets here, and then the true cargo, the side functional. I don't know what you would put in here, but they have the pockets there. That is meant to look like that. It is, it is sewn on the cuff there, so you have a little bit of a opening, but then it tapers back down at the leg, comes in a bunch of other colors. 
I think it comes in a corduroy option or something very similar to it as well. So look, if this full price is in your budget and you want them, by all means, go get them. But we all know that Banana Republic is just like Loft and Ann Taylor, because I believe they're all owned by the same people, and Gap and Athleta, and they are frequently, constantly having 40% off sales. So do not buy these full price. That is just silly. If you do buy them full price, hang on to your receipt because they will, if it's within a couple of days or a few days, I know they will credit you back the difference. But I love these. I think the length are great and they are really comfortable. It's a slightly thicker fabric, but there's some stretch to it. They lay very nicely. And then these shoes are the stars of the season. I've been wearing them constantly with pants, with jeans, with dresses. They are the Sam Edelman Hazel pointed toe pumps. I have five or six pairs of them, but this shade I think is new. I think for the season it's called Cappuccino. It's just a basic nude. So comfortable. Suede is always going to be more comfortable than leather. And it just goes with everything. I have worn this so many times. I definitely cost per wear. I'm getting my money's worth out of these. So that is a look at what is new in my closet. And like I said, this does not mean that this all has to be new in your closet. Do you have a brown sweater and maybe some slate blue accessories that you can pair it with? Maybe some cream pants or lighter color jeans? I just want to jog your thoughts. Maybe have you think about stuff you already have in your closet in a new way. If you found a new color combination that you're loving or a new way to wear a staple in your closet, let me know in the comments. Let's make this as much of a community as we can because that is the fun part about making YouTube videos. Thank you so much for hanging out with me today. I hope you had as much fun as I did and I'll see you in the next one. Bye.